fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Landed that left hook. Let me see that on the side. Come on. Nice combination. Oh, real kick is good. Impressive. No good. Good kick to the body. Give me those hard kicks. Hard kicks. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Hands high. Hands oh, good block there. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Front kick by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Superman punch lands. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, nice. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Fast leg kick lands. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. I want that takedown now. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Immediately gets the underhook. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Straight punch. Useful. Oh, beautiful. Straight left hand. Low kick is there. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. 
Now he's got a good body position, yup. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. This fight, come on. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Another one. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. 20 seconds to go in round one. Nice jab. Nice body kick there. Oh. Five minutes in the books. Great job out there. The cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning we did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Where's your uppercut? Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Well, we've been talking about that jab and his perfect utilization of it all night long, and there it is again as he snaps his opponent's head back. You see the numbers bottom of your screen. It has been all about that short, crisp jab here tonight. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Now with the knee. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Oh, he kicked him in the head. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Less than two minutes now to go. Ooh. 
good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Takedown defense is there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was gonna invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Dude getting active, lands another combination to the head. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Under a minute now to go. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, the striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 20 seconds to go round two. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the US. Number two. All right, sit down. Catch your breath. Slow it down, get some water. Listen, everything you're putting out there is working. I want you to stay. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready. Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. A little single collar tie there. Ooh, sidekick, well timed there. Big shot lands for both guys. Right hand by the champ, yeah. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Well, oftentimes when you see damage like this, things are critical. We don't always see a referee calling a doctor for body strikes, but maybe this would be a case to call him. This is one of those situations where something abnormal is gonna feel pretty good. We don't see it very often, but this is one of those times where doctor needs to come in and check this guy out. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cut. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just out of the range with that right hand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, now they separate. Great job getting that punch to the target. 
Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. You know, that, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. it has got to change something. About two minutes here to go in round three. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Establishing the jab. Landing a good series of strikes here. Straight right, he misses. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Oh, the kick landed. Back and forth we go! Strong knee strike there. Big power shot there. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh, huge Superman punch. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Big elbow land on the side of the guard. A double jab landed there by Lee. 20 seconds left. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, listen, man. You're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. This guy can't do anything to you anywhere. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't you? All right, so leg kicks on leg kicks, the big storyline in that round. DC, take us through the replay. Man. Yeah, he was, I mean, what a display of high-level striking. What a display of getting the leg to the target very, very quick. So quick that your opponent cannot react. Great job. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Clean with the strikes tonight. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, doing work with the jab. Drives the shin into the rib, great body kick. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. 
Straight right is there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Sidekick. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Lands a good series of kicks here. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. He's just trying to throw those kicks, even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. Keep your hands up for me now. Big shot to the head. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Hook in the clinch there by Lee. Massive body kick lands. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Oh, going for the takedown here. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Finds a home for the left hand there. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've gotta do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Sidekick, well placed. Final seconds here. Potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was plenty of back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Back and forth we go. Oh, how good is that jab by Lee? Big shot to the body. Just out of range with that strike. He 
hurt. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Big head kick. Keep going with that. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Goes back to the high kick now, and he lands again. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. Looking to land the leg kick now. All right, doing work with the jab. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Now getting that left hand home to the target. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Push kick there to the body. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively-minded fighters early. Over and over and over, he's landing these nasty body kicks. Nice liver shot lands. Yeah, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice kick to the body there. His cardio is great right now. He's great timing on that double leg. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Hook to the head there, by the way. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. What a fight. Hope to set up that overhand. It's a good right hand right there. Missed with that attempt. Oh! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Beautiful straight right hand. Knee to the body. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. So the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC 
heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best.